أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, the Beneficent and the Merciful. Tonight is the first night of the holy month of Ramadan. There are some special prayers from the Holy Infallibles for the first night of the Holy Ramadan. In fact, the Holy Ramadan begins with the evening of, ton of today. Because in lunar calendar, the day begins with the night. In one of the prayers from the Holy Infallibles, which the Holy Imam recited on a night like this one, it is recommended for the entire believers to recite these prayers because they are preliminary steps to strengthening and establishing a strong faith and a state of piety for the believers. And as you read through these prayers, you should also think about the words and the content of these prayers which were uttered by the Holy Infallibles when they were speaking to Almighty God. In one of these prayers we read, Invocations to Almighty God have different types in Arabic language. They can appear in both forms of Ya Allah or Allahumma, which both are the same thing. In this line of prayer, the Imam says, O oh God, help us. O oh God, help us to perform the obligations that you have that you have obligated upon us during this holy month of Ramadan. So let's not abandon what is obligatory for us during this month of Ramadan. It is obligatory to abandon what is considered to be a sin. And it is also a sin to abandon what is deemed to be obligatory. O oh God, help us to perform what actions that you have obligated upon us. All our actions can be categorized into obligatory or forbidden. We have different types of looking the kind that is obligatory and the kind that is forbidden. Eating, the kind that is obligatory and the kind that is forbidden. The words that we say, the way we deal with people. So, O oh Lord, help us to perform all the actions that have been obligated by you on the humankind, on the human beings. so that when this month ends,
we would have been successful to have carried out all the obligatory actions in this month. This requires God's help and also a strong determination. Without any of these two, you will not be successful to the optimum point. A person that is handicapped cannot stand, so he asks for the help of others. This is not the way it is. Helping is for people who can stand and their helping finds a meaning. God's obligatory actions, the obligatory actions and the forbidden actions, God Almighty has designed all these things in a way that they all are in line with humans in our voice and we just need a little help from the Almighty God. We need to ask Almighty God for His help. The holy infallibles who are infallibles, by the way, they also ask for God's help, let alone us. As we go through these prayers, we should be careful of what we are saying to the Almighty. And then in the meantime, we should make a determination. There are many holy traditions from the infallibles, that there are several things which guide humanity. One of them is a sense of self-advising. It means that we should be determined to do what is obligatory. If you make this determination, we will be successful, more or less. And you also can ask for the help of Almighty God and the Holy Infallibles. And when this month of Ramadan ends, you will be, by the will of God, successful. Otherwise, it would be almost impossible. It is said that once a lady was visiting the Holy Prophet of Islam, the lady just insulted another woman while she was fasting. So a lady that was fasting at the presence of the Holy Prophet of Islam, she insulted another woman, maybe her daughter, maybe another woman. The Holy Prophet knew that the lady is fasting. So the Prophet told the lady to eat from the food. The lady said that she is fasting. And the Prophet answered, What kind of fast, fasting is that? That you fast and insult others behind their backs? So fasting is not just the state of not eating. It is also a package of obligatory and forbidden actions, observing all these things. And you can find the details in the 
books of Islamic law by the respective religious authorities. There are certain things that do not annul or revoke the act of fasting. For example, if you eat unintentionally, if you eat something, your fasting will not be revoked. If you insult another person, if you backbite others, the rewards that you're supposed to get from fasting will be annulled. It is said that there are many people who actually fast, but that is just suffering hunger and the thirst. It doesn't go beyond that. There are certain things that are prohibited, that are forbidden, but they do not annul the fasting. Anyways, they are forbidden acts. So on the first night of the holy month of Ramadan, let us all make a decision, because with decision, success follows. So let's make a decision either in the day or at the night, until the end of the holy month of Ramadan, because this month is the best time and period for creating a change in yourself. Almighty God and the Holy Prophet and the Infallibles have venerated this month, so let us make a decision this night. From this moment on, to abide by what, what the obligatory and forbidden actions which are which are made by God and then we can ask for God's help as well. A person without determination will not be successful or at least they will not be successful to the point to the point they can all these prayers and the ziyarat of the holy infallibles all these things that are actually reliable from the holy infallibles or the actions that the holy infallibles did or their commands and orders all of them are treasures for the success of people in this world and in the next. You have families, brothers, sisters, a community of colleagues. Apart from the fact that we have to live for the hereafter, a person that makes up his mind to abide by God's rules, he will be more loved and popular among the people that surround him, even in this world. The famous Shaykh Mufid is dead for more than a thousand years, but still people remember him with great honor and respect. But there are people who die and their children just, they don't like them, actually. They just don't remember their fathers very nicely. So we should make up our minds to, and ask for God's help to abide by God's laws and obligations. I hope that Almighty God helps everyone to make up their minds in this first night of the Holy Ramadan to make a decision and ask for God's help and also intercede to the Holy Infallibles in order to approach success more and better. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household.